Hi mathematicians, today we are going to find out how to compare number of ob the number of objects in one group to the number of objects in another group. When we compare, basically what we are saying is we're looking at one group and we're going to count how many are in that group and then count how many are in the other group and then once we've made a count then we can make a decision um, as to which group ha is greater than the other group, which group is less than the other group, or if they have the same amount, which group, the fact that they're both equal. So when we compare objects, we can compare them in three different ways. We can first say that one group is greater than another, gr another group, one group is greater than we can then say um, if a group has a smaller number of objects in it than another then we can say that that group is less than the other group and if both groups have the same amount of objects then we can say that they are equal. So we can say this group is equal to the other group. So there are going to be three different ways that we can compare. The first is going to be um, when we look at both, both groups, they'll have a different number. The group that has the um, greater number of groups is going to be greater than the other, the other group. And if we compare both groups, the other group, which has less than, will be less than the other group. And then if they both have the same amount, then they will be equal to. Okay, let's get to some, some examples here. We can first compare by looking at um, a strategy called counting. So in this first problem, we're being asked to compare the number of objects in the yellow group to the number of objects in the blue group. And when we compare, we can count them. So let's first count the number of objects in each group. We have, these are stars, so we have one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars. There are five here. And over here I have one, two, three, four, four. Okay, now looking at this, I see that um, five is more than four so I can say that the group of yellow stars is greater than the number of yellow stars I mean blue stars which is four so the yellow stars is greater than the number of blue stars because five is greater than four now that's one strategy that we can use the other strategy that we can use um, is by matching. So we can literally match one each star to each star and the group that ends up having more stars um, that are unmatched is actually the greater group. So we can actually prove that this that this group of yellow stars is greater than the group of blue stars by matching. So let's match. Okay, this star matches with that star and what when we match, we match one object from one group to one object from the other group. Everything is matched one to one. So we're gonna match one star, one yellow star to one blue star. One yellow star to one blue star. One yellow star to one blue star. This yellow star can not be matched to any more blue stars. So automatically, just by matching, and this is a really, really, really um, cool uh, technique, Really just by matching I can see which group is, is more than or is greater than another. And it appears that this group right here, this group of yellow stars, is greater than this group of blue stars because when we matched each, each yellow star to blue star, we ended up with more yellow stars um, that couldn't be matched with any blue stars. So we can match that way. So we know that uh, 5 is greater than 4 this group of objects is greater than uh, this group of objects right here. When this group of objects, uh, the blue stars, is less than the 
group of yellow stars. Why? Because when I matched, I didn't have enough blue stars to match with this yellow star over here. Okay? All right, so going back over here, we can use matching or we can use counting. We'll, we'll, we'll use counting at first. So we have this group of yellow stars comparing to this group of blue stars. Well, let's actually count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six yellow stars here. Let's count the number of blue stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight blue stars. Looking at this, I can tell that six is less than eight, so the number of yellow stars is less than the number uh, is less than uh, the number of blue stars. So I can say that six is less than eight. Okay, and by matching, I can now say yellow star to blue star, yellow star to blue star, yellow star to blue star yellow star to blue star. Everything is, is matching one, one, one object from one group to the other object in the other group. And it appears that I don't have any more yellow stars to match to these blue stars. So I actually have less yellow stars than I do blue stars. So this yellow group is less than um, the number of, of blue stars because six is less than eight. And this group of blue stars is greater than this group of yellow stars because 8 is greater than 6, or 8 is more than 6. By matching, you can see that this, this blue set is greater because we have leftover blue stars that cannot be matched to any uh, yellow stars. And finally, let's go to this set over here. We have this group right here of yellow stars is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we write a seven right here. And this group of blue stars is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, wait a minute. They both have the same number of stars. If they both have the same number of stars, if both groups have the same number, then we can say that both groups are equal to each other. We can say that this group of stars is equal to this group of stars right here. Why? Because they have the same number of stars in each group. By matching, we can see that every single star in the yellow will be matched to every single star in the blue. And let's see that happen. We're matching Again, yellow star to blue star, 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 and yellow star to blue star. We all matched. Every object in every set was matched to every object in the other set. So therefore, we can say that when we match, if all objects in one group match to all the objects in the other group, then both sets are equal. And this group is equal to this group. So 7 is equal to 7 because they have the same number in each group. When you compare objects in one group to another group, you can use two different strategies. The first is you can count the objects in one, in one group and then count the objects in the other group and then compare or you can match by drawing a line from one object in one group to another object in the other group and then the group that ends up having um, objects that cannot be matched is actually the greater group the group that if both if both groups end up with every single object being matched to every single object in the other group then you can say that both of those groups are equal to each other. So when we compare, there are three different ways that we can compare. We can say it's greater than, it's less than, or it's equal to the other group. And there are two different strategies that you can use to compare. You can count the objects in, in each group and then compare, or you can match the objects in each group 
and then compare.